Hey YouTube, it's Dark Caliber here, aka Mixkickstar from the Specialist Project, and today I'm gonna to be talking about assault strike packages. And of course, starting off with a three kill streak, the simple yet useful UAV, uh, as I believe it's been in every game pre COD 4, and uh, it's a classic. If you don't know what it does, go find out because it is it's one of those perks that uh, kill streaks that everyone uses, and uh, it's useful. But uh, obviously not as useful as something like a Blackbird would have been in Black Ops. But of course, Black Ops, it's an 8 kill streak, unassisted, uh, chaining kill streaks. So, basically, what UAV does, if you do not know, is it in the sections, it will get radar sweeps every 3 seconds or so, showing you as little dots on your mini map where your enemies are. And this can be helpful. However, there are easy ways to get past them. For example, a counter UAV, now part of the support strike package. And of course, we're using Assassin Pro, or uh, might be Assassin on its own, I'm not entirely sure. But using that anyway makes you invisible from a UAV radar sweeps. So, moving on to the next one, and a full kill streak, we have the care package. Care package is also uh, a classic, only, but it's been on only in the last three games in Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, sorry. Uh, of course, care packages are mm, a bit newbie, I'd say, because it's uh, easy to get high kill streaks with something as low as four kills, maybe even three with a, you know, with a hardline pro, hardline on its own. So, care packages are what I used to use, but now I kind of feel that it's far too newbie and I'd much rather just go out there, get my kill streaks, chain them up to get something better. Uh, in uh, Black Ops, I'd rather use a weapon like, uh, oh no, sorry, a kill streak like the Napalm Strike, as I found it more useful and I got more kills and I had better chances instead of getting bloody a billion ammo crates. God damn it! All right, on the next one we have the IMS. Now IMS is probably my least favorite of the five kill streaks. Some say it's good, but some say it's bad. It's easy to take out, I feel, especially because I use Stalker Pro a lot. Uh, now, IMS, what it does is it's literally a super ultra bouncing Betty, which uh, locks onto position and uh, launches up a projectile and it fires at you no matter where you are, what you can do. Unless you have Stalker Pro, you cannot evade the trip of this kill streak. And I find it to be decent to use. But nowhere near as good as the other ones. Now, on to the next one. We have the Predator Missile. My pre the Predator Missile, in my opinion, is the best kill streak for chaining up kill streaks. You can get a multi kills galore. Whereas with a IMS or a Sentry Gun, you may not be able to get such a high kill streak. And the same with Precision Airstrike. I feel that Predator Missile is much better and more efficient at getting those kills. And it's the exactly no that sometimes you'll get straight to that attack helicopter, straight to that precision airstrike, straight to even that strafe run if you get lucky with a four kill streak. But you never know. So that's my favorite and that's why. Now on to the next one, of course, is the sentry gun. The sentry gun is decent but easy to take out, easy to evade. All you need is a flashbang and a knife, which you most people do have. Unless, of course, you're running a poor radar or maybe a tactical insertion. But most people tend to use flashbangs, concussions, and I believe some people use EMPs. But Sentry Gun, of course, is not that bad a kill streak. It uh, does kill some enemies, and it will not get you multi kills, but it will last for a lot longer than a uh, IMS will or a Predator Missile will. So that's my opinions on it. And of course, now onto the precision airstrike, which is a step up, six kill streak, five with hardline, six kill streak. This uh, precision airstrike is the coolest looking one, but probably the most useless, as it hardly does anything. Now you can only get kills if you're playing uh, demolition, maybe domination. Those are only kind of the game loads that you will be ac get accurate kills and be ha content with yourself, be confident that you will get the kills. Uh, otherwise, you'll just get lucky just throwing it down on a random strip of land. Uh, but, in my opinion, Precision Airstrike is pretty crap, but it does look pretty cool. Now, on to the final one I'll cover today is the attack helicopter. This thing is a beast, I'm not gonna lie. However, it is easy to take out with the Stinger or even with your own rifle, believe it or not. 
it uh, is the most powerful airstrike besides the Pavlo, you know, the other ones, but I feel it is more effective for just a 7 kill streak and of course a 6 with Hardline. Uh, this kill streak has been in the game ever since COD 4, and it has been effective ever since. In fact, actually, I do not believe it has been in COD 5. I don't think it was, no, it wasn't a World of War, but it was in um, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3. Because Attack Helicopter is a classic kill streak and one you'd expect to be out there. I do suggest if you're going to try and start chaining up kill streaks, Attack Helicopter is the one to use. And in my last video, my first video, go check that out, guys. I did use the Attack Helicopter. So uh, stay tuned to my channel, guys, and I will release the last, I believe it's seven kill streaks, uh, which are higher ranked and a lot better. However, are they a lot better? Because, in my opinion, some aren't. So uh, do check my channel and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. It's been Mixed Kickstar slash Dark Caliber from the Specialist Project. Signing out. See ya.